Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter Barber. I am a professional opera singer, music producer, and of course, a bass vocalist. Today we're going to be checking out an early release of Jeff Castellucci's I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. I am a patron of his. I like to show support to these amazing creators that have inspired so many of the younger generation of bass singers. And so today we're going to be paying a little homage to Jeff doing, a, doing his Christmas release for this year. Guys, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, please leave a comment for the algorithm. And if I am enhancing your listening experience, please consider donating to my Patreon. For as little as $1 a month, the link is in the description below. And guys, without further ado, let's see what Jeff has in store for a very bassy version of I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. Let's do this. <laughs> Already down to a low C2 in chest. Alright, so this is pretty typical Jeff fashion where he will arrange an introduction that is essentially a complete original. And then eventually, you know, 10, 15 seconds in, he will drop the theme of the song that we know and love and enjoy so much. So, of course, we get this kind of like barbershop-esque four-part intro with all the good low bass stuff. And then he comes in with the ba doom doom And he comes in with the ba doom doom that we all know from I'm dreaming of a white, you know? So it's cool. I like how he does that. He keeps it a little bit kind of ambiguous at first, but then, of course, he drops into that melody we know and love. Let's take one more pass through there and then soldier on. talk about his approach to this vocal line I'm, it's very he's keeping it very breathy very light maintaining the pharyngeal space um forgive me if i look slightly this direction i have two cameras set up right now because i'm testing a new setup with obs and it was doing a fair bit of lagging when i was messing around with it earlier so i've got all reliable right here and the webcam here just in case that the the newer one fails, all reliable is there. Anyway, he has a very breathy, soft spoken approach to this line, keeping that nice warm pharyngeal space, but I'm dreaming. It's very soft, soft singing. I'm a dreaming of a white Christmas. White Christmas. Something you go, Christmas. Anyone seen the Camille Cabello? Absolutely hilarious. Go check that video out. Fortunately, he says Christmas the right way. A dreaming of a white Christmas. Something interesting about this line is there are, there's pauses. There's more pauses than I'm used to hearing in this delivery. Pause. Dreaming Pause. Of a white Pause. Christmas. You hear those little gaps? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. There's all these little pauses in between uh, the delivery of you know various words within that line of text. So uh, a, a Jeff take for sure. Just like the ones I used to know. Treetops glisten and children listen to hear. Ah, nice option now. I like how the tree, the objects are now popping up in the background. Where the treetops glisten and children listen. 
Head to a low C there. Glisten and children listen to hear Sleigh bells in the snow, the snow So that we're in G major, so I would bet large sums of money that we will hear a thick low G1 from Jeff in chess voice at some point in this cover. But maybe he's going to make us wait for it a little longer. To hear sleigh bells in the snow, the snow. See, he could have done it there. Okay, so we got more percussions coming now. We have Jeff's in all new outfits. Um, and now we have some background harmonies chiming in, saying some of the text from the melody. So listen for those background, those background Jeff's jumping in once he finishes his solo text. Well, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Dreaming of a Christmas, dreaming of a nice little again. Also, you know, very much like Jeff Fashion, he'll have the introduction with all of his counterparts singing background on vowels, e's, oohs, ahs, whatever. Then we'll jump to the second verse or the second kind of main section of the song where it'll be him taking the solo, maybe some trading off, and then the background voice is becoming more active, singing more of the text. And then at some point, I'm guessing the three background parts are going to take over the kind of lead and sing it in harmony while the the main solo drops out and then it comes back. This is like the kind of formula Jeff takes in a lot of his arrangements. Always adds his own creative twist on it. You guys know how much I appreciate and respect Jeff's arrangements. But that's, that kind of structure is something he uses in a lot of his songs. So we will see if he does it here. Oh, Christmas with every Christmas card I write, every card I write. Uh, with every card I write. <laughs> I like that one. That was nice. Christmas card I write. Every card I write. May your days, may your days, may your days be merry and bright. And may all your Christmases be. It almost sounded like he went to an A flat. Get these puppies ready. It, you know, it kind of sounded like he went. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I guess he goes G1, D2, G2. It almost sounds like the first one's a little towards an A flat, like it's a little, sh like a sharp G1. Your Christmas is me wild. Maybe it has to do with the, the, maybe there's some dissonance between that pitch and the background harmonies. But what I say, a thick G1 in chest from our boy. Is green. Whoa, okay. A totally original verse coming, I guess. Unless I don't know the whole original song. Um, that was a cool little breakdown section here. I'm dreaming. Well, I'm dreaming. Nice little interlude that's uh, historically not done. Cool, cool, cool. The sun is shining, the grass is green. The orange and palm trees sway. There it is. In Beverly Hills, LA. So that may, oh, um, there must be a, I feel like this is another version of the song, not the original. Ugh, someone comment below. I don't know. I don't know the history of the song. I don't know if this is actually part of an original version or if this is a Jeff original. Leave a comment. Let me know what's going on here. The 
sun is shining, the grass is green. Now there's more leaning on the drums on. There's a harder lean on like one and three. As opposed to earlier, it was kind of like pretty consistent. One, two, three, four. Orange and palm tree sway. That's the part I was talking about where the backgrounds take over the lead a little bit. And we started on B. Probably a B natural. Yeah, it goes from a B1 up to a G2. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was a mega thick G1. Hey, come on. Yeah, then he'll do his switch up to his high range after doing something super low. Let's just listen to that G1 one more time. I know he can get, we, we're used to him getting down there, but for me, it never gets old. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's just like so round, you know? He's got, just got so much pharyngeal space contributing to that darkness and the warmth and the sound. And he he and Jeff does compress a little bit when he gets down into that extreme low, but it makes for really good vocal fold closure. So you get you get a more pure, efficient sound down there technically, as far as like the physiology is concerned, to when he's singing in his middle and upper where it's a little more breathy and light. His low notes are heavy. In Beverly Hills, LA. Come on. Doing maybe an A. So they got down to the two there. Yep, down to the A, A1. Tree tops. Nice little riff. <laughs> That's some good video editing. Um, I like these little tasteful riffs that he put in this high solo. The Jeff on the right didn't get a present. I like it. So he's switching it up again. He he gave the Jeff with no present the solo for a little while. Um, while these three on the left were singing the kind of background-ish parts. And it looks like our original Jeff soloist is going to retake it. Probably to close out the song. And I like that... Um, the uh, variation on the main theme there that he's singing here. Well, I'm dreaming of a white. Well, I'm dreaming of a white. Well, well, with every card I write. Whatever it is. Well, 
car, car hold a ride. Your days, may your days, may your days be merry and bright. Classic. And may all your Christmases be wise. Oh. That another G? G A G B. Jeez, dude. Again, super, super thick, dark, epic chest, as always, from our guy. Uh, he might land on a G one at the end, so I might just keep these on. You all know how much I love an Aeolian cadence, and that was one like I haven't heard it before. Where, you know, mm, mm, uh, but instead he went like, uh, wah, and then went down to the G. That was a sick ending. Tasteful riffs. And may all your Christmases be well. And just an absurdly long sustained G1 in chest. Wow. Super cool. So his he went but he went down. Wow. And the other voice is resolved up, which is traditional for an alien cadence. All your Christmas is be well. Oh, they kind of went down too, actually. Breaking all the rules. Bad Santa. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching. And happy holidays. This video was made possible by all the fine folks over on Patreon, but especially Holger Draco, Debs Badger. We will allow you all to watch the outro for yourselves. If you haven't seen the original, it will be included in the link below. Go check it out. I'm sure you have already. Um, all right. How are we doing? Sweet. Guys, this was Jeff Casalucci's new Christmas cover of I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. This is the Patreon preview, so I will be sure to release this to my audience after he has released it publicly, of course. Um, that would be totally uncool to do anything otherwise. So we'll do that. Jeff, always, man. Bravo. You always have your own take on the song you're doing. You always put your own spin on it, which I really deeply respect. Um, killer low notes, as always. Um, a, a nice handling of this one, because this is a, you know, the, the classic Christmas songs... I would say in most cases, you don't want to do too much to them. Um, I think what he did with God Rest, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen last year was brilliant. That was one, like, everything he did with that was phenomenal. I thought, I really liked it. Um, it was bold, creative, went for it. I think he nailed it. Um, I like that this one is a little more true to the original. I think it's more fitting for this piece, but also enough, he, he gave himself enough allowance as a creator and an artist to put his stamp on it. Um, so bravo, seriously, all around, great job. Um, guys, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, please leave a comment for the algorithm, and definitely go check out my Patreon if you haven't yet. That is where I get a lot of my revenue these days as a young creator. It really does help support me, keeps the lights on. So if you guys wanna support me, um, there are a wide range of tiers from $1 a month with you know early access to all my releases and access to my discord server private discord server all the way up to you know 50 and 100 dollars a month where we do like monthly happy hours 
and you get uh, you get a signed. I, I send you a personally handwritten letter thanking you for your support, and you get merchandise and a bunch of other stuff. It starts at one dollar a month, um, so I'd really appreciate your support. Go check out the Patreon links in the description below. And uh, without further ado, guys, I'm gonna sign off, and I'll see you next time. Peace.